Hello everybody, today's video is going to be about um, showing you how to put one atom on top of another one for your Sim social house. Um, this is going to help you create any, if you want to create a second illusion, um, second floor house. I'm going to do a different video on how you can achieve the second floor house. This video is going to be more about putting one atom on top of another one to help you create the illusion too or to help you improve your house or to help you with the decoration of your house okay so stay tuned for the second video um, let's just get started with this one here you can see that I have two bookshelves right here I have a bunch of brown tables brown tables here um, white tables here all this item here you can still find this item at the shop in the same social so they're all still there. These round tables are about 330 simoleon um, money. The white ones are 200 simoleons. These um, dividers are a thousand dollar, a thousand simoleon each. Then I have some flowers here for decoration. And if you can see right here, I have some of the kitchen counters. That I'm gonna show you something about that too. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, let me grab the brown table and I'm going to put about three of the white table on each side. Remember, it, everything, how many tables you're going to need, everything depends on how high you want to go on your house or how high you want to put the atom. So let's say that I want to put some flowers on top of the fence, right? So all I have to do is put three of three of, of each white table on each side put a brown table on top and put another one on the bottom why I'm using these brown tables and white table because so far is the only item on the shop that I can find that can help me create this type of illusions or this type of decoration for my house okay so let me move just the brown table at the bottom and everything is gonna supposed to move right and we're gonna grab the first white table on your left and we're gonna rotate that and you can see how the brown table is rotating at the same time right that's perfect just grab the bottom brown table move the brown table forward just like that and grab whatever decoration you want to put on top of your fence let's just grab the flower remember always put the atom on the first on on the top of the table but always on the like here on the first part and just move the brown bottom table and you can see how the flower is going to stay in place right let's try this again move the bottom brown table towards the fence grab the flower put it right here because if you put it here this is what's going to happen see it's going to move with the as you move the table and we don't want that so just move the flower to the to the top right there through the front, I'm sorry, and move the round table, and you can see how the flower is going to stay there. All right, let's just try it again. Let's just try to put another flower. Let's just rotate again the table and put the flower on the top, boop, right there, and remove the round table. And you can see how that stays in place. That's awesome, right? Let's say that you want to create a higher fence, so you grab another divider and put it right here and you just move back the tables and it's gonna stay there see that let's say that you want to put um, another flower right here on top all you have to do is put more white table so you can reach that high just put more white tables there Remember, the more table you put, the higher you can put the object on your on your house. The higher you can put the atom, right? And put the brown table on top again. And then, um, and then move the bottom white table as always, and you can see how it's moving. And put the flower on here. right there and move the bottom um, brown table again and you can see how that flower stays right there okay once again 
the the more white tables you put, the higher you can place the item on your house. That's how it's gonna work. Um, remember to put the white tables and put the brown table on top, like that. See? And remember to always move the table by moving the first white table, so the brown one can rotate on their cell. And always put the atom right here. Never put the atom back here. Okay? Let me show you another another thing. The bookshelves. Uh, many of you have seen that a lot of people have the illusion of a second floor house. In order for them to create that, they're using bookshelves or anything similar to bookshelves that can help them create like the house column to look like there's a second floor. How? I'm going to show you. You can rotate the bookshelf and you can see that there's no books in there. So that's perfect. All you have to do do the, create the same thing with the tables, move the table forward, grab another bookshelf and put it on top of the other bookshelf. Remove the brown table from the bottom and you can see how you create the the brown table. I'm, I'm sorry, how you create like a big brown column just using the bookshelves, right? Okay, now I'm going to show you something else. Because there's an is like an is space, I think it's too high. So that's fine. We're going to create the same thing again. Rotate the first white table, move forward with the tables, rotate the book, put it on top again, and remove the table by removing the first round table. See that? Perfect. If you want to go lower, let me try to go lower to see if I can take that space out a little bit. Alright. And rotate. See that? And put again the bookshelves in place. There's no space. Perfect. You see that? It depends on how high you want the item on how many white tables you're going to use. So let's say, because I've, I've been seeing a lot this um, stocking metal on the new houses. For example, they are putting this here. Let's just put it that way. Let me put the brown top on here. Like that. And let me grab a kitchen corner. Right? Let's put it there. And once again, grab the white table from the bottom, rotate it. You can see how the brown thing rotates at the same time. And you're going to put the, the kitchen corner, you're going to put it right here. This one is too big to fit. So let me, okay, this one fit perfect. And if you don't want to see this part here, you just rotate the atom like that. And remove the table by removing the brown one. See that? And you can see how this is creating an illusion of a of a something on top. Let, let me show you better so you can have an idea what I'm talking about. Let's just go and get some tiles for the house. I have some in storage right here. Let me grab this one. If I put this here like this you can see that it's creating like the illusion of having something on top and something in the bottom. Like you can put a car here and then you can move forward and putting a bunch of more of kitchen corners in here. Rotate them so you don't see that the that it's a kitchen thing. And you just keep doing that all over around. And you just create a delusion. Let me put a white table. You just create a delusion of a second floor or, or kind of like there's something else in there see if I keep moving this thing here I can put as many things as I want as you can see see that how I'm moving everything on top and if I want to put more stuff in here all I have to do is keep placing more things you see like that and you can always put tiles on, on the bottom to create that illusion. See that? Now everything here, the trick in here is ha buying the tables, of course, having the money to buy the tables, and having all the items you need to help you stock the items on top of one another.